Okay, so combos with Akaza. It's actually very common for you to start combos with Disorder with Akaza because it reaches so far, so it's good to make sure you get as much damage off of it as you can. Here is a simple combo you can get off of your um, Disorder, and it gets 3,800 damage for only two bars, which is really, really good damage. And you get, because you end the combo without a special move, you'll build back your meter pretty quickly. So that's really good damage for not too much meter. If you do want to gain even more meter at the end of your combo, you can end it slightly differently, do something like this. and end your combo in an aerial attack string, so you have more time to build back a bunch of meter on the opponent who's hard knocked down, you can basically build back all of your meter. So that's a really, really powerful way of ending your combo to, you know, get back your meter so you're not helpless when the opponent wakes back up. But if you do want to cash out for really big damage, you can do something like this. Oops. Into disorder, into collapse. It's almost half of the opponent's life for only three bars in one sidekick gauge, and that is really, really good damage for honestly not too much meter spent. If you get a combo for your regular attack strings, you want to cancel as soon as you can, because his special moves take up a lot of time in your combos. So you want to do something like this. And if you do see your combo counters almost gone like mine, I suggest going in for just one aerial hit into a grab for a reset, and that'll catch your opponent off guard a lot of the time. And if you do have a little bit more time, and if you don't want to do a combo, you can do something like this. That did pretty good damage even before I did the collapse, but if you add a collapse, obviously you can get a big extra chunk of damage. You can get combos off of your projectiles easily by comboing into your rapid punches, and then your combo sequence is practically the exact same. You can combo into a down combo to make it very simple, or end it however you'd like for an extra chunk of damage, you can throw out a collapse. And if you throw out all five projectiles, you can combo out of it using your Annihilation. And then once again, I suggest going for a reset here, because you don't have too much combo time, but being able to combo for your projectiles is really amazing. In boost mode, you can get really good damage for very cheaply, so if you land your rapid punches, you can get a combo going like this. Oops, I missed that up a little bit. So this only costs you two bars, and it has 50% half of the opponent's life for only two bars, which is really really amazing And then if you are in surge mode, you're gonna be kind of like most other characters You're just gonna be kind of mashing special moves and getting a big chunk of damage for it so You can go like this into this into this Into these into these again if you want and that's a really big chunk of damage Or if you are on the ground you can throw in your collapse at any time to get an extra chunk of damage But you're gonna do a lot of damage with any combo you do with Akaza. He's very flexible, just make sure you're comboing your Destructive Death into um, Disorder, and you're comboing it into either your Compass Needle for extended combos, or ending early for some meter build, and ending your Collapse for a big chunk of damage, or just ending with your Down combo, or ending in an Aerial combo for a hard knockdown to build some meter back. That's Akaza, his combos are very easy and very flexible. Yeah. He's easy, he's fun. Hope you enjoy playing him. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!